Hope is everything. My name is Emma Paulson and I'm a leukemia survivor. I feel lucky that I caught it when I did and that um, I have it in this time where there's a lot of research and the treatment options are a lot greater than they were 20 years ago. When Emma was diagnosed with leukemia, it was the first time I really understood what ice in your veins means. I went cold, I went numb. But what I remember most is the doctor saying, we know a lot about this disease and we're gonna help you fight it. The chance of surviving childhood cancers has greatly improved compared to 10, 15, 20 years ago. For example, someone like Emma, who would have been diagnosed in the 1960s, we would have quoted her a survival rate of as low as 30%. Now with that exact same type of leukemia in our modern era, we're quoting survival rates upwards of 80%. Hope gave me strength to overcome all the hard days in the hospital and all the painful procedures that I've had to go through. These are my beads of courage. Each bead represents a treatment or a poke or a stay in the hospital, a surgery. I have over 300 beads. I started something called the Patient Helping Patients. In November of 2012 is actually the 10-month anniversary of my diagnosis. So I decided to bring gifts to the kids there. When I was there, I had friends and family there all the time. Helping other patients helped me with my recovery by taking my mind off of what I was going through and putting myself in someone else's shoes. Even though I have cancer, other people have it much worse. They have more intense cancers. I am Kimberly Graham and I have a childhood cancer. And I'm Don Graham, Kimberly's mom. I was diagnosed with a rare childhood cancer called Ewing sarcoma five years ago in May 2008. If Kimberly had not been given the opportunity to participate in new clinical research, she may not be here now. And she would have missed so much that we were able to do with our family. She got to see her brother and sister graduate high school. She got to go on trips with us. She got to go on trips with her friends. She has been able to go to college, live in a dorm. I now have an extraordinary degree from University of Wisconsin La Crosse. That's what they called it. I visualize hope like a candle inside of me. Whenever a doctor tells me bad news, the light flickers, but research is what keeps it burning strong. A few days ago, I found out that my Ewings has spread to my brain, so I'm starting radiation again to try and buy myself some more time. Of course, a cure would be wonderful, but even if I could get a few more years and see, you know, see, just to have more life and to see, my friends get married and my brother and sister graduate college. And I will never give up. I love you, Pam. I love you too. We are very fortunate here in Milwaukee that we have the MAC Fund because without them, many, many programs would not survive. Funds and research drive that hope and drive those treatment options for our children. Research and treatment gave us our daughter back. And to a mother, that means everything in the world to know that our child is going to be okay. My name is Emma Paulson and cancer changed my life. It made me strong and it gave me hope. <laughs>